Welcome to What Do You Say Anime? I am your host, Peter. On today's episode, we present to you the second edition of the My Anime List Review Game, a game where we take the best and worst anime reviews found on the popular website, My Anime List. How the game works is that myself, Miles, Pat, Johnny, and Jay have two rounds of reviews from random anime that we must guess the score and which anime review they are talking about. A correct guess on the score or show will result in one point. Getting both will result in an extra bonus point. Play along with us and tell us your score in either the comment section on YouTube or in Discord. Links to both can be found in the comment section below. While you're down there, consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a review. Now that we got that out of the way, boys, let's get started with our first review. This show got worse? I'm sorry, but what the fuck are you talking about? How is this any different than it has ever been? Ever since I've been working from home, my alcoholism has gotten exceptionally worse. I think I'm dying. Sometimes I'll stand up and just find myself on the floor. Other times I can't tell if I'm hungover or legitimately ill. I have simply laid down and the funny part is that my body just falls asleep. I've been an insomniac for years, but now my circadian rhythm is completely fucked. But the biggest issue is my memory. I either eat nails, then try to watching this shit sober. So much of this season has been foggy for me, but what I do remember about it that makes me want to go drown myself in even more liquor is that most of it is uh, most of it is spent going back to this redacted arc style. It's bullshit that is filled with recap footage and feels like filler, even when it isn't. It was dumb, ugly, and I hated every second of it. The villains come back, but then there's one-dimensional nobodies with nothing interesting to say about themselves. And about anything. And there's still zero stakes. The artwork, the colorization are hideous, since Redacted Studio only cares about making non-canon movies. The show is about 80% still images. The pacing is at once horrendously rushed, but other times painfully slow. And the fights are more panning stills with even more people screaming and crying at each other like autistic babies. It looks awful and nothing about it is entertaining. Everything it has ever done is doing and will continue to be done before and sometimes often done terribly. And even in its former case, many such properties are dragged out until they crash and burn or just slowly decline into dog shit. The series is somehow doing both. But you wouldn't think so if you listen to the common reception, and I find that this is rather odd. Its deterioration has clearly continued, but what's weird about this is it's, prop uh, it's prompted people to start reminiscing about the better times. And I don't understand it at all. People talk about the good old days, but back when it, this show was about a redacted main character working hard and overcoming its weaknesses and hardship, where now it's just we're watching an overpowered Gary Stu with infinite power who's totally unsympathetic and therefore it's worse. Gentlemen, time to guess the score in the anime. My hint is that this genre is action. Jay, you can go first. Mm. I'm going to give, I'm going to say the score is a, a three. I really. So my first guess for the show was the newest season of the rising of the shield hero. Okay. So you're going three and shield hero season two. I don't think it's shield hero though. Cause I, who would be reviewing? Then again, it is the average Mal listener or Mal, <laughs> re, Mal user, you know, Mal real reviewer, salty. not even Mal, Mal listener Mal, or viewer, Mal reviewer, the common people of the internet, real salt of the earth. You know, morons. So oh, I'm going to go with, with <laughs> The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2. Uh, all right, Johnny, your score and uh, your guess. And that's right, three so... to four, Jay. We, we get a range. Oh, that's we right, like one, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Okay. So Jay's going three, you know, four, and Shield Hero Season 2. I would actually go, I think I would go one. No, I'll go three and four. Actually. It's a tough yeah. one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Because two and three, I would have felt perfect about yes. it. Yes, yeah. yeah. That's why we don't allow that. <laughs> okay, see. I think the score, I'm going to give a two to three. The thing that caught my attention. Was we the just said you can't yeah, do that. Johnny, no, no, no. no. <laughs> sorry, what? No, it's you like, it's, it's, like sorry. Yeah. We, we explained it poorly. It's it's the sections that you can say. You can say one one to two 
or three to four. You can't say like yeah. it's broken into. So you guess a score, and it's within a bracket. I I don't know. I I can't figure well, out how to phrase it. It's, one. It, it's yeah, one no, and you two. You have to two, start three. with an odd number. So oh, yeah, one yeah. or two. Okay, yeah. I'll say well, okay, one to two then. Okay. 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 Sorry. Yeah, I didn't realize. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. No worries. We didn't explain it. All right. So the thing that caught my attention was in the review they said non-canon movies from this studio and that makes me believe that this is probably some battle shonen so yeah. i think i'm going to say it's a one piece movie i i really can't say which one i want to say the first one okay so you're saying one to two we just say one piece that's fine yeah sure. okay one to two and one piece sounds good pat you're up uh, yes, yeah, so this sounds like uh, Pete's review of uh, Demon Slayer. Uh, I think that that's uh, exactly who it is. It's yours, isn't it? Now, um, uh, I think uh, I'll go with a uh, three to four score range as well. Um, and like Johnny said, the the non canon movies thing made uh, got me thinking that they're talking about Studio Perot. But I think it's Naruto the series because that's a, mo- a series that has a ton of non canon movie or non non canon, but just movies that were not in the manga or were not uh, like that follows arcs that were not in the manga and naruto is full of filler as well so that's my guess uh and then miles what about you yeah it's tough for me like it it, this is really smart by pete because this screams rising of the shield hero season two it screams it and like i'd be tempted to put it but take the bait for somebody yeah but the the non-canon movie thing is what again throws me and like i don't know what studio is making the rising of the heel cheer whatever the slave hero season two but like go. um one fan base i hear complain about the fact that there's a lot of non-canon movies is the my hero academia fan base i also guess that that show has gone downhill after its earlier seasons Ooh. and it's also cool to not like any of it so i'm gonna guess three to four fuck three to four and my hero academia all right sounds good so good receiving good receiving guess. points for the score is none of you this was actually a five out of ten what <laughs> <laughs> so the score is impossible of these people you don't get yeah, it that's the point it's yeah it's pretty awful and it's the hard. okay and the person receiving one point for getting the show correct would go to mr miles it was my hero academia yeah, season yeah. five oh. let's yeah. go <laughs> and that's Good the start stuff. of the buy anime review game jay you're up next oh, God. all right hold up hold the fuck up I'm going to drop the unpopular opinion right here, but I feel like I need to add a bit of balance. You know, I wouldn't lie to you. Y'all too cute for that. Blank? More like... (laughs) All right, sorry, y'all. If blank is a masterpiece, as Anna Twit keeps claiming, then we really need to take a hard look at our surrounding anime tiles to this day and age. If this shines, then we need to accept that everything else must be incredible dull. Blank? More like plot convenience. The anime? I'd like to say it's original. But with the rise of blank, these things would give it away if I admit, if I said these titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, they definitely would. If I said, but with the rise of blank, 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 and whatever that blank thing is, <laughs> this character choice isn't even that unique anymore. Story? If you like dull, drab, uninteresting dialogue... You'll love this anime. If you can't fit the square peg into the square socket, you'll love the mystery of this anime. Y'all really out here making excuses for that giant gaping goatsy of a plot convenience in the penultimate episode? Why doesn't Edward Elric just find the Philosopher's Stone in his back pocket? Oh, Why doesn't Gon just walk around the block and find Jing? Why? Because story matters. Unless I'm watching blank. Art? It's fine. It's certainly animated. The animation isn't the issue. Sound? Soundtrack? What's that? Characters? Again, dull. Uninteresting. Bruh. A person that can do capoeira. Wow. Actually, ignore that as a person there. I just tried to censor it a little bit. A blank and a blank? A blank? I don't know what the fuck he is, but they're both addicted to social media. 
A blank that uses his dreams and lackluster life to justify his incel nature and lies to get laid? Wow, riveting. Like a character? I hope not, because they don't go anywhere. They serve a singular purpose and are forgotten just as quickly. But Horov, it ain't all bad. The band that does the OP is the MVP of this anime. Unique, wild as fuck, and worth watching. I know y'all culture out here. You'll appreciate them. Overall, nah, mate. This ain't it. This isn't anime of the year. This isn't a masterpiece, and it's not a Tarantino flick. Add a twit, and YouTube anime is out here salivating over this title, and it's fine. Check it out. Or don't. I don't know your life, but temper your expectations because it's not that groundbreaking. It's fine. That's about it. TODR, a strong conclusion does not make this anime masterpiece. It just doesn't. And no, it's not a god dang Tarantino film just because multiple stories come together in the end. Stop it. Okay. Do you have a genre for us? Uh, I would say the genre would be mystery. Okay. Uh, Johnny's first, I believe, right? Yep. Uh, yes. yes. I am... Well, very confused, but I'll try to understand whatever this guy was saying. Nope. I had to censor that a bit. I'm sorry. Okay, because you know, it... I, I think despite what he said, since he left like the it's fine to like this review, I think it's not that low of a score, so I'm going to say between 5 and 6. And okay, mystery that everyone likes. God damn it. I, I don't watch anime. Okay. We know. I... <laughs> I don't think I was originally thinking eighty six. I don't think that's a mystery. So the only thing I can think of is odd taxi. I I guess I'll go with that. I really don't know. All right. I like that as an answer. That's a really good answer. Um, hmm. so good that I'm actually gonna take it. I'm gonna go with odd taxi as well. Um, uh, at first I was thinking Akadama Drive because I was like, oh, this sounds like too. me. That, that, I was like, oh, this sounds like me talking about Akadama Drive. And then, um, because of the Tarantino stuff. Um, yeah, I but, could then, see that. but then I was like, oh, mystery. Well, Akadama Drive's not a mystery. It's just a, uh, really balls to the wall show. Um, yeah. uh, gosh, yeah. So I think I'll go with a... Um, yeah, so this would be perfect for like a six to seven. I feel like it's one of those two scores, but you know, I'm gonna go seven to eight and I'll go odd taxi. Um, because yeah, the the anime of the year comment also makes it very like, yeah, likely to be a, one of the higher rated shows recently. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, Miles, yeah, so the only thing keeping me off of odd taxi because my, my two thoughts were Akadama Drive and odd taxi, um. But I can't see an Odd Taxi Tarantino comparison. Like it just doesn't. It, it, it doesn't like those two things don't really seem. Yeah. To to fit together to me, right? Yeah, and I don't like, know if Tarantino would be the. I, also, this yeah. is a random reviewer who could just completely be mischaracterizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tarantino, <laughs> extremely right? true. Yeah. Extremely yeah. true. Yeah. That's what you that's what um, expected. God, I feel like I'm going to smack myself on the forehead for whatever this is. I'm, I am going to go with Odd Taxi. I think it's the best bet. Um, but I think Akadama Drive is a good shout. I'm going to say five to six. Nice. I, I'm just going to show, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I also wrote down Odd Taxi slash Akadama Drive question mark. <laughs> Ape together strong. Yeah, I can't right, wait for yeah, it to bro. be like re zero or something. Uh, it, it was, it was crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Are you expecting me to say that? Uh, I'm with I'm with Pat. I think it was like the anime of the year thing that like made oh, me shit, think it was uh odd taxi over like something else. So I'm gonna go three to four and odd taxi. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, Johnny, it could be. Wait, that's my legitimate be re zero. Yeah. Okay. So, receiving points, we have everybody who selected Odd Taxi. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. that was the thing. And then Pete will receive a point for being in the same point bracket. It was a four. Woo! Ooh, okay, so Pete gets three points for that. Let's go. Everyone, everyone else gets one. And then I believe it is Johnny up next. It is. Johnny's up next. All right, here's my review. 
Okay, so there are a lot of hate comments on this anime, and let me tell you this, it's all personal opinion. I relate a lot to this MC, and I know what he's going through. This anime is not for people who hate the MC. Gotta hate myself now. After watching the first four episodes, if you still hate him, then you should probably stop watching because this anime is not for you. I personally love the anime. The story was extremely realistic, and the characters were all really good. The main character was extremely relatable, and I loved him. He has a lot of bad qualities in him as a human being, and that's what makes him a human being. He's the total opposite of blank or blank. He's a pathetic failure at love, and he's a huge simp, and he knows that. He knows that, and he hates himself. He tries his best to change himself, but since he's a 20-year-old, he's still experiencing things, so it's totally fine. I'm younger than the MC, but I'm a huge <laughs> sit myself, <laughs> so I know what he's going through, and I hope you can give this anime. <laughs> Open this hard. It's been a long time since we all broke that hard. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, he gets a lot better. The anime is all about a trash sip MC becoming a <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> a Chad what? Chad like of a what? Okay. I'm an anime only viewer, but that's what the manga readers say, so yeah. It wouldn't matter either way, because I already love the MC. I rate the MC 10 out of 10 for being <laughs> realistic and relatable. Either way, this is just my review. This is my first ever anime review, so I hope my grammar is not that bad. Have a good day. Nice. Oh, bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Johnny, I... This is your review of ReZero. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, <laughs> no. Plot twist. Oh uh, shit, yeah, why did I say that? I, I was really oh sold. God. I was really sold that this was Rent a Girlfriend. Like it, initially. Yeah. Now that I said right, now that I said thought. ReZero, now that I said ReZero, I'm kinda like doubting myself because Subaru is a pretty big simp too. And if you don't like the main character after the first, or whatever, apparently he becomes a Chad. I don't, from my understanding, the manga readers say that, if anything, he doesn't become a Chad uh, the, in Rent-A-Girlfriend. Um, and that the story just repeats itself over and over again. They start to make progress and then it goes back to square one, like, literally constantly and constantly. So, I think I'm at, yeah, I'm going to go with ReZero and I'm going to say that this is a 9 to 10 score range. Miles. So, yeah, sorry, I'm I'm thinking... You're good. The, the thing that makes me think it's it's over. not re-zero is that they say that the main character is 20 and they reference manga readers. So Ma Rezero oh, is a light shit. a light I novel. Left that out, honestly. No, um, no, no, that's good. You got no, no, that's you good. That's, that the clues. Um, that's hints. That's good hints. I should, I'm stupid. I yeah. I heard the 20 comment and I was like, oh yeah, Rent's yeah, There you go. I it was contemplating uh, whether or not to censor out. Yeah, you never mind. Just spoil the So too. my thought is that this is a manga reader after Rent a Girlfriend's uh, cuck ending came out, yeah. and they are writing it on their. That's the. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. I, I'm not really great at this particular <laughs> genre of show, so I'm gonna guess Rent a Girlfriend, and then I can't decide if this is a one or two or a nine or ten uh, <laughs> because I think it might just be ironic, but I don't know how bought into the irony they are. Like, are they ironically giving it a ten, or are they being like, "This show is fucking great. I love that the MC like jizzed himself." thinking about his girlfriend cheating on him or whatever happened at the end of Rent a Girlfriend. I don't really know. Um, and I don't know what you're into, though. Th well, yeah, no, ironically. Uh, <laughs> just much like this review. Um, and gave it a one or two. I'm going to say Rent a Girlfriend and fuck it. I'll say nine and ten. Who fucking cares? Uh, you you stole mine. Yeah, the, for sure it's the manga thing that sets it apart from ReZero, I think, as well. Uh, I am going to mimic Miles. I'm also saying 9 to 10 and rent a girlfriend. All right, Jay. I think rent a girlfriend seems like such the obvious choice here is the thing. Yeah, but I'm dumb, so it's the only <laughs> choice I saw. <laughs> it's... Fuck it. Uh, we, we're, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going rent a girlfriend, and then I'm going... You know what? I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go nine to ten as well. Right. I thought about going away from the pack, right. but well, 
I see y'all have very similar choices, and I'd like to say that you Bro, are wrong. all wrong. Correct. Yay. Oh. Except for Pat. Because uh, only... yeah. nah. he chose the wrong show. Wait, what was your rating? 9 out of 10? So you 9 out of 10. One I get one point. Yeah, I was, you know, it was funny. I was contemplating whether or not to say the word simp because I felt like that would be too obvious. <laughs> Well, the Subaru is a simp too, and so are a couple other characters in yeah. in anime, right? So I, I think that that was fine. Yeah, it was the talking about how he becomes the Chad that, that threw me off. Had to have been a lie, right? Like it's to me, <laughs> I, it was just like so I, obviously I a lie. Honestly, have not, and I, and Miles, I genuinely believe this person was one hundred percent serious. Oh, I'm sure, <laughs> but they don't know that they're lying to themselves. But I can tell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's called copium. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we love hopping on copium. Ah, oh, so good. Um, all right, I guess uh, I'll go next. Uh, oh, and uh, genre. Uh, before I start, is uh, I guess drama. Drama probably suits this the best. White album. Yeah, white album too. Good one. Um, this is absolutely the definition of what are you doing, step bro? This is so wrong. Well, in a way, I guess. Reading through all the chapters all the way to the end was a train wreck, full of countless counts of face palming, cringing, or the absolute face of disgust that makes you want to strangle someone. You ever get that feeling that you want to strangle someone? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that he says it's a back to back. Just, just because of their shitty decision? Well, that's the feeling. That's that feeling reading through all of this. Don't even get me started with the shitty plot. You know what? Let's all calm down for a second and start from scratch. And then they talk a bunch and I cut all that out. All jokes aside, this plot itself is a mess. Even reading the synopsis will make you go, what? A good plot needs to to have not only a good story, but it also has to have a decent character development, flow, and overall the way the story should be portrayed. Yes, that was an unedited sentence that didn't finish itself. Um, not rushed, not too slow. For me, the characters are important, and that is usually the main drive that keeps me and the reader from reading. Overall, blank out of 10. Cheers. And that is the review. I, I went with a shorter one for my first one. What was the genre? Uh, drama. And this is a manga, uh, to be fair. This is a manga, but it is, has an anime adaptation, so I thought it okay. was fair. Yeah, that's, that's fine. What are you doing, Step Bro? Is the only thing that. Does Bang doing? Bros have a manga? What are you doing, Step Bro? What are you. What are you doing? Good question. Uh, what am I doing? Miles um, is like stuck in like a uh, washing machine right now trying <laughs> to uh, <laughs> figure out his answer. Yeah, I, God, I'm not going to know what this is. Um, what okay, do you, you are a step pro? I'm going to say three to four. And then I'm... I'm going to... Oh, God, what's just a fucking train wreck? I, You know what? Really left field guess that isn't it, but I just want to get some pat points for saying that the show's <laughs> bad. I'll say Citrus. Ooh! <laughs> you know what? You know what? They, they, you never know. You never know. <laughs> I don't think you they're related, know. but it's okay. They're also girls. <laughs> they're, um, they're, yeah, they are, like girls can be pros, and they That's are true. siblings by the end of the show true. too. So, um, wait, what? But, yeah, okay. yeah, watch, yeah, that's, yeah, the watch plot, that's the whole plot of the show. You were right. <laughs> that is the plot of the, plot <laughs> oh, of the show is that that they oh. become step, they they like half siblings, whatever. I guess. Yeah. Well, no, they're not half siblings because uh, no, 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 you no, know no. what this is. Can I change my answer? Because I just thought of something. I don't have to be able to. I don't know whose call this is. I don't care. It, you, no one else said anything. Let's, so let's go to fair. the listeners. They say it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to say. I'm going to say it's domestic girlfriend. Um, and then say three to four. Yeah. Three to four. All right. Yeah. Uh, next up is Pete. Yeah. No. E either this is a 400 IQ play by Pat that it's not domestic girlfriend, or it's Pat being Pat and it's domestic girlfriend. I'm going to go domestic girlfriend, and I'm also going to say three out of four. All right, Jay, what about you? I'm going to say it's bunny girl senpai, <laughs> and I'm going to go with, and I'm going to also go with a, I'm going to go with a fucking five out of six. Nice. Five or six. Five out of All six. Right. So. 
Yeah, five out of six. That's uh, yeah. eight point six out of ten. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, Johnny. What about you? Yeah. You know, the thing with these uh, reviewers is that they're often hypocrites. So you know, they'll say it's a train wreck and they still give it like a seven out of ten. So I think this is going to be a five, five between a five and a six, and I think it's also the oh, best of your friend. This, my next one's just going to be used to make Pete mad. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So the answer, uh, it was a four out of ten scoring. Oh. Uh, that's a decision that the people made. Um, so tough one there. Um, fantastic shout out with Citrus because that would have been really smart of me to do that one. The, uh, like to find a review like this from Citrus. But it is domestic girlfriend. I okay. knew I knew this one would be very obvious Damn. because of the "what are you doing, step bro" thing or whatever. But like, yeah, um, maybe I cut it down a little too much. Uh, but I cut it to the parts where this person was really just being like, so just, just you know, sucking themselves off, basically. You know, like they were just they were just like, uh, their ego is like leaking into their writing, and I thought it was very funny. And yeah, which by the way, if. If you recognize any of these reviews and you writ the, wrote them yourself, uh, feel free to unsubscribe because <laughs> no! I don't need to, uh, no, yeah, we we don't need you, and that's okay. Um, Pete, what do you? Why are you acting like you're sorry? You're not sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, so Pete, wait, sorry, who scored scored there? So, so I know Pete I got three. Got, Miles yeah. got three. Johnny got. I got one. One. I got none. And Jay got zero. Six. Okay, I'm sorry. That was my easier one. I, I'm excited for my second one. It's gonna oh, be I, I have a really hard one. I think. Ooh. It's going to be really easy. I'm just going to get out. And really sad. Okay. I am up. I, I thought I had to sneeze, which is why I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. That's not the one. I decided not to do this one comparing Tyga to John Wayne Gacy. Um, Ooh, that would be <laughs> spicy. <laughs> yeah, it was just too long. Um, okay. Uh, this, this genre is going to be... I'm going to say it's like action drama maybe um this show is the dumbest show to ever take itself seriously it is essentially a hackneyed amalgamation of cliches and overused plot devices that clumsily attempt to disguise themselves as something greater hell it stole death note's whole stick and ruined it completely before the anime version even finished airing um this series uh the series that this show stole from um were dark and at least had some depth. This show, on the other hand, juxtaposes pseudo dark scenes with light, um, school life harem rom com. Plot uh, develops with a marked carelessness. People die and are inexplicably brought back to life, even though they were either shown dying or there was clearly no way they could have possibly lived. Plot armor at its finest. Oh, did you want an epic and dense war story? too bad instead you're getting you're going to get aimless uh filler centered on a bunch of people who probably shouldn't even be going to high school this anime is notable for having one of the highest concentrations of plot holes and loose ends that i've ever seen characterization is probably the biggest flaw of this show the characters are infuriating flat inconsistent contrived and they alone destroy any possibility of this being even a decent anime the main character is good at games and inexplicably predicts a lot of minor events before they happen. This is how we know he's a genius. He makes a lot of dumb decisions. He wastes troops and resources. He kills potential allies. He spares enemies. He gets caught up in needless battles. He makes emotional decisions in battle. Um, and he uh, never knows, never has a prop proper backup plan to deal with things he knows are likely to happen. And we never get any indication that he knows the first thing about tactics. Um, oh, sorry, I lost myself. Uh, but then he somehow wins battles anyway. And he's somehow a genius. Go figure. Luckily, all tactics were replaced with boring beam spamming at the end. But I don't uh, know if it really if that's really much better. Any development in this character is completely contrived and came out of nowhere. Watch the show if you have a weird deus ex machina fetish. Otherwise, stay away. It does nothing new. It does nothing well. It doesn't even fail in an interesting or original way, destroying any chance of can't be so bad it's good appeal. As a result, I can't think of a single positive thing to say about it. Ooh. Pete. Okay. I I have an idea. One came to my mind, but I, I really don't think it, it's a show that you would pick, but to me, like it matched everything. So I'm hoping to get some points just off of the score. I'm going to go with one to two, and I'm going to go with the irregular at the Magic High School. Okay. 
we got the J Factor himself up next. It was screaming guilty crowd at me until you mentioned the game thing. Wait, he does like games at one point. He's a gamer? <laughs> he likes a lot of things at one point or another. <laughs> It's not Guilty Crown, though. It's not Guilty Crown. There's Talk no yourself way. out of it. Talk yourself out I'm of it. I'm talking myself out of it right now. It's not Guilty Crown. I don't know what else it could... I have no other guesses. I pushed my fingers into my eyes, man. Like... Okay, Slipknot. Just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, that's where I was going with it. Uh, Man, fuck it. We're going with Guilty Crown anyway. I'm not playing to win. I'm just... Like, what's your, I'm what's your score? score? <laughs> what you got for and score? The, I'm going to go with a one or two. Okay. Johnny. All right. So the I'll... other J factor. Yes. Don't ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the budget, like Chinese version, but anyway, <laughs> you're the wish for made in, the made in China version. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> I, guess I, I think I, I, like this has to be a between a one and two. And here's the thing that I, I don't think any, Actually, no, I can't say this yet because Pat hasn't gone. Okay. Well, no, I want to say the show anyways. Okay, anyways. So, you said that, I remember in your review, this says, this came out while Death Note was airing. Yes. So, oh, that shit. gave me I'm a so very, stupid. <laughs> very, like, close amount of shows that I could have picked from. Wow. And then I saw something about the main character having 400 IQ. I'm like, you know what? This is it. This is Code Geass, isn't it? That's my that's my guess. Code okay, Geass, wow. new Code Geass, and damn, Pat. I basically said Code Geass. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Real me. Real version of me. Yeah. This is a really nitpicky uh, look at Code Geass. I agree with Johnny on that one. That's a that's a really good call out too. Um, I should have revealed that to you. That was good, Johnny. Well, I good mean, shit. no, that that, that but that's yeah, a good point. Because like matter. I was thinking games, and games immediately made me go no game, no life, and then I was like. But it's not that because, you know, like uh, there were just other things that you said in the review that didn't match up at all. So, yeah, that's actually a really good call out with Code Geass. And, and that's part of the game is, you know, being lucky enough to go last in this case. I get to hear everyone's thoughts. Uh, but Miles wouldn't put this if it was uh, so obviously a one or a two. So I'm going to go three to four range. OK, so this is Code Geass and yes. it is a one to two. Yes! <laughs> nice. So, uh, one specifically. Um, yeah. so well, Johnny, at least I got a point. Johnny got three, Jay got one, and Pat got... Sorry, what was Pat get? I got one. One. Yeah. He it's, stole uh, my thunder. But it's okay. I basically agree with everything this review says about Code Geass, but I like it anyway. <laughs> it's like, I thought it was a great time. Um, That's good. So, yeah. Uh, all right, so that means we're at the halfway point at the end of round one. Uh, let's see what our scores are. As of right now, I am in the lead with 10. Miles, you are wow. in second with 8. Johnny, you are in third with 6. Jay, you are in fourth with 4. And Pat, you are at 3. 3? Wow, I yes. thought it was at 2. Yes, oh, okay. 10. I, I had you at 2 as well, Pat. But... I, I had Pat at 3. Let's count it, 3. All right, cool. And just like Family Feud, all points are dope. I'm just kidding. Um... <laughs> Moving into round two, the final one, and I will kick things off for us. Here we go. Sex, lewd thoughts, and imaginations. Here are some interesting little trivia. Did you know that the average man in our world today thinks about sex nearly every 56 seconds? Fact or fiction, you decide. Of course, this is all normal. I mean, our minds are filled with sorts of imaginations and dreams, whether it be finding the perfect girlfriend or going on your first dream date. In this anime known as Redacted, our protagonist, Redacted MC, goes from Leechius second year high school attending Redacted school name to somebody he hasn't began to even imagine before. I'm going to skip a little bit. By this point, you are reading this review and thinking to yourself, God damn it, not another harem. The fan service, what's new? And of course, I agree there. The fan service is nothing new but a device used to attract viewers. So if you can't take boobs, ass, and nudity, then feel free to watch another series. If you have serious issue with the uncensored scenes and fan service, then just drop the damn series as no one's forcing you to watch it. However, if you can take it as a true anime fan, then kudos to you as you will be proud that you have completed perhaps one of the etchiest, if that's even a word, series of the year. So you're probably thinking to yourself now, should I watch this? And honestly, that is a good question. When God gave us brains, we all have different views on everything. 
like anime, manga, life, appearances, etc. However, if you just watch the trailer or the first five minutes and decide to hit that drop button, then I feel sorry for you. Why? Because this series is more than just etchy and fan service. It has potential, emotion, it has drama, and it has interest. Gentlemen, what show am I talking about? House right thus? Uh, you, it says it's okay. written by Haztic420, so yes. <laughs> My guess is going to be uh, Mother of the Goddess Dormitory. Ooh, that's a spicy pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. And uh, I'm going to say it is... Uh, it's like at this when you get to the score, it's like how hard are they jerking it? Is the thing you know? It's like are they like are they just beating their schmeat with a monkey wrench, or like are they just like soft number is easiest to type with one finger? Or I'm gonna, with one hand. I'm gonna say seven or no, I'm gonna say nine or ten. It feels like a nine or ten here. So mother of God is the goddess dormitory in seven or ten. Or <laughs> All right, sounds good, Jotty. I just want to quickly say, if this is the mother of the goddess dormitory, Jay wins. Jay wins yeah, the yeah, entire time. Like, that is crazy. <laughs> okay. like, like, I'm trying my hardest here to think of, like, what other show it could be, but, like, I, I like, unless Pete went to, like, the 6,000th page of Mal to find this, it's like, it has to be High School DXD. And I think the rating is gonna be a 9 or a 10. Okay, Pat. Yes. Um... Just a quick thought. I think it would be really funny if we made another version of this game where we uh, we, uh, we wrote our own and uh, and then potentially had to decide whether it's our own writing or if it's a one that oh, we found online. I mean, no, I didn't like, like that. that. I think we could because like Pete reading that, I was like, like truth and sounds, a lie sort of deal. Right. Like this is the funniest. It's so funny trying to read these because it's like. Did someone actually type this? So you could go really far with that. I think that I think that'd be a fun game. Either way, sorry, that's distracting. I also couldn't really think of anything other than high school DXD. The only other thing that came to mind was like, what's that? Queen's Blade Valkyrie or whatever. The basically hentai <laughs> anime. Valkyrie Drive Mermaid. The Valkyrie thing we Drive Mermaid. Review. Thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that thing. Um, so there you go. That um, that like a show like that is the only other thing I could think of. But I don't know why Pete would bring one of those up. So I'm gonna go with DXD as well. Um, I have some catching up to do, so I'll go 7 or 8 out of 10. I think maybe they gave it an 8. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. Pete, Pete hit us with a very obvious, this is the Rising of the Shield Hero thing. Now, maybe he's doing the Lelouch double bluff, where I, he's expecting me to not think this is DXD, right? Because it's so obviously high school DXD. But this is actually to love Rue, and it's a 9 or a 10. Earning three points would be Pat. It is an eight, and it's high school DX. Okay. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, go, catching up. Johnny also got a point, and I think that Mother of the Goddess Germ is not Mother of the Goddess. <laughs> However, that is a God. spicy poll, and somebody out there is like, yeah, Jay fucking knows what's up. <laughs> I just, uh, I just want to put it on record. I have not watched that shit. Yeah, yeah me yeah. either, Jay. Wink. <laughs> Has is already writing down the show. Damn, I thought, <laughs> yeah. I thought to love Rue was going to be the big brain take right there. I was there. hoping you guys would, like, overthink, like, what Miles did, and just pick a different, like, etchy high school or something like that. But, yep, it was mother, DXD. It was I DXD. guess Goddess is a college, but, yeah. So is to love Rue. Oh, no. is it? Love, he love Hina is the, the college one. Yeah. yeah. Love Hina doesn't have tits in it, though. Uh, it does. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> the name of the hentai? Sorry, I lost. Valkyrie Twelve year old me did a bad job of finding uncensored Love Hina. Then, oh, uh, the manga for sure has. It. I don't know if the anime. Oh, does. oh okay. Lost hard where enough. my review is at. Give me one sec. Actually, can you just go to the next person? Real yeah, quick? we'll go to Johnny next up. All right, I'll see if he's it. ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Let me just. Okay. Here we go. This story, or I should say genre real quick. So the genre, and this is according to Mao, is drama. The story starts in a fairly disorientating manner and then moves quickly from there. After about 20 minutes of confusion, however, the anime soon finds its feet and I begin to be able to follow what was going on. 
at around 40 minutes in, I was actually somewhat interested. And then, the anime falls apart under its own philosophical weight. Apparently, the creators of this anime thought that they could substitute all semblance of plot with random scenes that supposedly have symbolic meaning, a quote from Roger Herbert's movie glossary comes to mind. If you have to ask what it symbolizes, it didn't. I have seen this movie several times, and I still cannot enjoy the film one iota. I do not believe that it is because I didn't get the film. I believe that there is quite simply nothing to get. Certain blank fanboys have gotten a huge kick out of analyzing the show and attempting to fabricate some sort of interpretation of the events that transpire. But in my opinion, this is a futile endeavor. The show plot was deliberately made incomprehensible for incomprehensibility's sake. There is no meaning to the show other than to have no meaning whatsoever. The difference between this film and other virtual, virtually indecipherable anime, the blank blank, is that blank pretentiously demands interpretation. There is nothing to entertain the viewer beyond the movie's pompous symbolism, and this is the movie's downfall. Wow, this guy really loves using big words. <laughs> Some amount of irony here, but yes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Some may disagree, but I thought the original characters of blank... What is... Hang on, sorry, my computer is acting dumb. Some may disagree, but I thought the original characters of blank were excellent. All of them were almost perfectly imperfect and as a result, managed to capture some of the darkest parts of the human soul. While none of the characters were particularly likable, every single one was captivating in, some, in their infinite flaws. These problems and characters, however, are pretty much destroyed in the treadmill of an awful story. By the end of the show, just about every single individual has lost his or her humanity. Their actions no longer reflect any semblance of logic or compassion. Forget character development, this is an anime about action figures. Because of this, what was arguably Blank's greatest strength becomes Blank's biggest fault. Overall, I went into this anime genuinely hoping that I would at least find a little closure to blank. Instead, I got this. Deliberately pointless. The creators apparently assumed that they could pass off mindless and pointless scenes under the pretense of art. A huge budget is wasted, a good storyline is desecrated, and one of the most promising enemies of blank is put to shame. Pretentious and disappointing. Blank is certainly down there amongst some of the worst anime that I have seen. Ooh, this is spicy. Yeah, I'm a thousand percent sure I know what this is. All right. Can you DM um, me the answer? Yeah, I got you. Thanks. This sucks having to go first on this one. Um, You're about to find out, like... Uh, I have no clue, actually, what, what the anime itself is. I This this feels like a... Feels like a three to four to me. Although they say it's one of the worst ever. Oh, god damn. Maybe one to two because they're that spiteful. I'm gonna go one to two because they're spiteful about it. But it's not like they there was a manga is what is what they said right that there was a manga source or whatever and the anime adaptation was bad. Um, how about uh, the Promised Neverland season two specifically I guess, but just the show in general. No, am I wrong? Uh, apparently I'm wrong, Miles. But uh, what's the well? Right okay, answer? so Pete, did you see my DM? I did not, but the fact that yeah, Johnny, I, I, Johnny I, I, said I, I, film I, about five times in that review. I, I, I DM'd Pete's oh, my God, family. Oh, God, he said um, film. Oh, my God. Yeah, my anyways, I, I, I'm going to go with uh, the end of Evangelion and one to two. Okay, I, I'm glad we were on the same boat. I think it was one of two <laughs> choices for me, and the, the other one is the exact opposite of end, end of Evangelion, and just because people don't like the character, I was thinking a silent voice, but I'm also I'm going to go three to four, and I'm going to say end of Eva. Uh, you're not looking at Mal, are you? Well, okay, <laughs> so it's hacking into the mainframe. Here's the issue: He's control effing all the way. I think that this is. I also think this is e end of Evangelion. But I'm gonna have to look for another fucking review because I was going to review do an Evangelion <laughs> oh, thing next. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what, I was looking at the page that the one I was going to re do a review of, trying to decide if I want to say it was End of Eva or I was going to do Evangelion 3.0, which the review which was the review I was going to. do. But uh, I'm gonna say End of Eva as well. What's your score? End score. Uh. You know what, I'm going to go 3-4. Alright. Sorry, uh, Miles, can we get your score again? 1-2 is what I said. So, Pat, you decided on Promised Neverland Season 2? Yeah, because I, I forgot that you said movie like six Miles times for some reason. End of Evangelion? 
Yeah, every, she, everyone else and said Jay and said end of Evangelion. Yeah. Well, you will all be happy to know that it's that it is not Promise Neverland season two. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the score? Me and Jay gets three points. Oh, okay. oh. Because it was a four, which is pretty high considering it was one of the worst yeah. anime they ever saw. Yeah, that's really high for something. Let me, wait, let me just check real quick. How many anime this person has on their mouth? Oh, they have 17. Okay, so their opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> and it's all shown in. Okay, their opinion doesn't matter even less. All right. Okay. All right. Um, Jay, do you I, need uh, a minute or can we go to Pat? Yeah, I'm going to need one second. I, just, I figured Jay needs another minute to, to figure out his next review. All right, my, uh, mine's a little bit longer on this one because my first one was shorter. Uh, genre, I would say, is psychological. Alrighty. Anime is a psychological anime, number one. So do not think it is about cute children playing in school and having happy days. It is an anime about how cheating on someone can really end up messing up with their head and lives and how the human heart and mind are very fragile and how friendship is very precious and when destroyed in the worst way, it can have the worst consequences. The main character is your seemingly typical anime guy in high school that listens to music and has a bunch of perverted thoughts about girls all the time, but who turns out to be quite different than your usual main character guy. And he has a crush on this girl that he sees on the train all the time, and he ends up taking a picture of her and putting it in his phone. In class, another girl, who he happens to sit next to, named Redacted, sees the picture in his phone and tells him her name and then, from there, uh, goes about getting him and the girl on the train to know each other so that they can try and start a relationship, all while falling for him himself. Herself, sorry. The majority of the anime, the main character is, in my opinion, a sociopath, as well as a sex addict, but there are moments here and there where you see that his actions do uh, actually do bother him, <laughs> and these are very important in this particular anime because if they did not have them, he would truly seem to be a monster. <laughs> it is sometimes scary that the most evil people are not demons or supernatural at all. That's big brain thinking right there. The ending is, uh, is something that is perfect, though, in my opinion. And it is something I absolutely saw coming. Absolutely saw coming. But the way that, that it was done was really something creepy and gave me chills. I really enjoyed it. It was an awesome turn but something I saw coming the entire time and something I keep, I kept repeating throughout the entire thing over and over again. And when it finally happened, I was extremely happy and satisfied. It has a very twisted ending as well. So do not be fooled by the innocence of the title because this anime is anything but innocent. Make sure you watch until the end because there is more than just one awesome sick twist at the end that will leave you satisfied with the feeling you get watching the rest of the anime. Everyone basically gets what they deserve because this anime shows that the human mind and heart is an extremely fragile thing and that you can't just push someone aside like they are trash the second you are done with them because they may not be done with you or ready to let you leave. Boys, what is the anime that I am talking about? I think I know what this is. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to DM Pat because this is my backup one. So you, the one you're answering now is your backup one or the one that the one you just read it was my backup review. Oh, was it? Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. So oh. I'm just going to DM you um, so that we know that I'm not, like, cheating to go last. But um, pretty go awful first, review, actually. Well, so he should go well, this, last. What I'm saying is that, like, oh. I don't want to say. Yeah. Okay. I, I see now your chat message, too. That's my fault. Um, yeah, so, that's Pete, okay. why don't you go you, next? Okay. Um, so I'm going to guess it's in the 7 to 8 range, and I think it's school days. Okay. Jay. Yeah, I was going to say School Days feels like the right pick there, and I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, I hate to always just say whatever Pete says, but 7 to 8 just feels right here, honestly. Like, they're not jerking it too hard, and 5 and 6 would feel a little bit low, maybe. Like, 6 could be reasonable, but 5 has never happened. I feel like 7 and 8 are both pretty reasonable, so I'm going to go 7 to 8. All right, and Johnny? I think it's because 7 and 18 I got it. I'm trying to remember the name of the show what was the show that like has that had like one of the worst endings in anime history it was like a recent uh, yes, sing, uh, sing yesterday yes, for me sing yesterday for me yes I think it's that okay and what score uh, 7 7 to 8 
Seven to eight. All right. Uh, Miles, why don't you tell him what show it is and what the actual score is? Because you're wrong about the actual score, by the way. Um, oh, okay. I, for, I must have forgotten then. Um, well, it is the right bracket, but the score was the other uh, one. Oh, okay. It's the other one? Okay. So this is School Days, and it must be a uh, nine then. It was a nine out of ten. Woo! Okay. Um, I, this review made me laugh so much while reading it and i cut out a good amount of it too but it's just the um i don't know man the uh, lack of self-awareness yeah that and just the i absolutely he said i absolutely saw the, the ending coming he says it like four times throughout the review like i said it like twice there i think and that was not me putting it in or repeating myself that was actually how it read and it was just like man Okay, buddy, we get it. <laughs> so, uh, I I was looking for a nice boat reference one. Yeah, in, in yeah, yeah. Days to to make it like really like all right. If you know, you know. But in this one, um, yeah, I I think it was obvious enough. Yeah, for sure. Miles, like, did you get the score it. right? Uh, I or did. I so I said ten, which would have been nine. Okay, 10, so yep. I I did, but I got I technically got it wrong. So I I remembered incorrectly because i went through I, I just searched school days and looked for the first good like nine ten review that i could find um and it, it was that one. i remember them talking about how it's like a realistic like look on what happens if you cheat on someone like obviously cheating on someone is like bad but like you're not you're not going to get serial murdered yeah if you do <laughs> it's just you know yeah and i thought the uh the main character bit was really funny too. Yes. They, go on to, they go on to talk about how like, Oh, he, he's so realistic and stuff. And it's like, no, this is a total loser who takes pictures of girls. <laughs> All of a sudden is able to pull every chick in the school to the point where they're lining up outside of the locker room, waiting for their turn with him. Like, what the fuck do you guys remember that? I, how many of you guys have watched this show? Because God damn it. I, I wish I've I had only it. heard it's been a minute. It, about like, how does that scene happen? Like, Oh my goodness. Like it's because it's, they adapted a bad end of a visual novel route, which is amazing. By the way, an amazing is. decision. That's uh, so funny, <laughs> But yeah, so uh, that's yeah, and everyone got what they deserve. Yeah, people totally deserved what they got in that show. Yeah, yes, so guy, if you cheat on somebody, yeah. you should die. You yeah. should get your head <laughs> cut off. Happen, but I agree. Yeah, oh, you that, should get yeah. your head cut off. And um, I've actually had that argument in this Discord before. If cheating on someone was uh, worth killing them over. Um, yeah. no, because I don't. I I don't live in the Middle Ages or like yeah. a. Or and I, I'm not yeah. a fucking barbarian. Yep. No, I also I also said no, but you know you can't convince everyone. <laughs> should we bring, so should we, hot topic. Should we bring back honor killing? Yeah. <laughs> should we, yeah. Like absolutely. Is, 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 is anyone want to go to a stoning next week? <laughs> like, Dude, I'm telling you, instead of elections, we just have the two candidates like have a battle to the death. I like oh, that. Yeah. Um, and actually, a bunch of like yeah, old yeah. senile people just fight to the death. Like what fun. an amazing spectacle. Right. Yeah. Also, I did find another review, so I'm gonna All right. go ahead and do that. Perfect. Hammurabi's coded up. Let's go. Shows become overrated when the people who are clearly not the target audience don't talk about why that is. Instead, they opt to seek to see what they believe everyone else is seeing for the sake of conformity. That was a tough sentence. That was. Well, <laughs> while it makes sense that a show like this would have a solid base audience, I believe this one is not for many people, and I will try to illustrate my own disconnect. This is a rom-com that is far more adjacent to a harem show. Some easy reasons to see why. The main character isn't nearly as enigmatic in personality or in design as the female ones, for the purpose of self-insertion. And there's an incredible amount of fan service as early as episode two. Normally, well constructed rom coms attempt to create two equally as commanding per, uh, personalities because the show is about both of them, not just whoring out one and making the other obsolete. This type of structure is commonly found in harem shows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using harem as a sort of buzzword criticism, by the way. Harem shows are relatively unpopular and have a flat amount of dislike and contempt. So, why isn't the show seeing that again? Anyways, the main appeal of the show is about blank. If you like the show, it basically means you like them. I don't have any issue if this if they are your waifu, but it is important to understand how to separate these things. My sore problem with her is ha being a one is being is having one of too many impossible collection of tropes. Gyaru, check. Otaku, check. Uh Hentai likes that too. Check. She's super personable and can even communicate with our Loser, socially anxious MC. Okay. 
She stands yep. up to bad people who insult more niche hobbies. It's just too many, and it's too blatant of a fantasy. Almost like the author is creating their ideal girlfriend, or what they think their audience's ideal girlfriend is. As mentioned earlier, Episode 2 has a ridiculous amount of fan service for a show on literally Episode 2. The show isn't tagged at G. The problem, though, is that it was awkward as fuck. The show establishes the main character as having something similar to social anxiety, and the dude is just freaking out at the sight of a body. What really made it hard to watch, though, is how she wasn't reciprocating his emotions at all. Even though he's blatantly uncomfortable, she does not acknowledge it, which actually just makes everything more weird. This was the entire episode, and it was bad. This entire thing just feels like a sham. A hollow advertisement to make me go buy the manga or read a doujin about the characters or something. Which, by the way, one dominated in hentai for days after the release of episode two. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. Miles dropped his We know what it is now. My, Miles fucking disappeared into the Matrix. Where is the heart in something like this? Also, why did everyone dunk on 3D Blank, even though this one. Even though the. Th oh, sorry, actually, that, I thought it was the name of a character, but it's the name of a. a TV show. Why did everyone dunk on 3D Kanajo, even though this one and that show are very similar? And in essence, that's Whoa. all the show is. It's visually better looking, but this show is worse than 3D Kanajo. Worse than 3D Kanajo. Wow. I agree with that. All right. Oh, all right. can man. I, can, I just, can I just say it now? Yeah, I think yeah, everybody yeah. can just say what... Darling, like... Yeah. Yeah, I it's tried to like, I tried to obfuscate it a bit, yet. but like at least try to hide it. Okay, it's my girlfriend is a gal. What are you talking about? I mean, it was yeah, it was pretty obvious. I dress feel up, like dress up darling, and I think the score is between a three and a four. Dress up a three and a four. Okay, um, I'm gonna I go. I think everyone should just say their scores. <laughs> yeah, five that's five do, yeah. six is what I'm gonna say. I'm five uh, six. I, it was oh. a three. Oh. Yeah! Wait, wait, Pat didn't even say his yet! I was about he to said, say, I didn't... He, I thought you said 3-4. No. No, yeah, jo no, I didn't get He was repeating it for Johnny. Oh, fuck, I'm I mean, sorry. I was going... I genuinely, I was going to say 3-4. This is why I'm not a This is why I'm not no, a no, moderator, no, it's fine. No, by I'm the fine. way. You know, it's okay. I'll let Pat have it. I heard the tip of the three. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll, that's, I'll uh, give you the tip of the three. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, yep. um... All three inches. Yep, that's the joke. <laughs> 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 yeah, that the second the uh the main character being a a wimp yeah, that, was, like, uh, we, we oh, literally it was that she was into hentai. Oh, that we was literally that too, all yeah. like stared at the screen simultaneously. Like, yeah, okay, we know what this is. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, which is good though. That was a funny review though. Great it's show. Like, it's very similar to like my feelings on the show, but obviously it's a little bit like on the nose and rude about uh, it. I, I saw that. Than... I saw when Ray mentioned show. in hentai in the comment. I was like, bro. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the Dojin uh, comment was funny as shit. <laughs> Miles, last uh, one. Okie dokie. Um, I th Pete, are you within striking range for anyone who isn't me? Because um, I can't get points. Technically. Jay can tie me. Okay. Well, I I can't win no matter what. Correct. Jay can well, tie me. I can't lose, but I Jay can tie me for the win. Okay. Sorry, I need to get in character for this. Okay. Yes, please do. Run mm -hmm. cosplay. It's I have right. a backup if they tie too, so no worries. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> it's amazing how whenever social justice warriors get irrationally angry over a work of fiction. Their impotent rage serves as an almost guaranteed stamp of approval that said work of fiction is likely good. Very few examples of this are as accurate as with this show. The characters and plot, fantastic. And the emotions shown feel more real than any other show of this genre, uh, or more specific genre. I'll say it's an adventure fantasy show. Um, in years. Nothing feels forced. Solid writing. I haven't looked forward to the next episode of a series this much in a very long time. What does matter is the question of whether or whether or not this show is good. The answer to that is a solid yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Very, you have it's a yes it's not a no <laughs> it's an objective fact okay sorry i get this next sentence very few anime deserve a score this high 
with that score often being reserved for legendary works for Miyazaki. Wow. When deciding to give an Fox anime moron right there. this high of a score, um, you have to compare it to shows of the same genre. As far as this genre goes, this is really as good as it gets. What makes this show deserve this score is that it takes everything within the potential of the genre to craft an interesting world and does it flawlessly. Sure, parts of it are generic. You have your generic lolly comrades, your generic moe moments. But the difference between this show and other shows of its genre uh, has these things in addition to good story as opposed to being a distraction from the otherwise poor quality. Rather than crafting a perfect world for otaku to self-insert to, the show does just the opposite and creates a world not unlike our own in terms of unfairness and corruption. It serves as a mirror image to the real world, even <laughs> sorry, <laughs> even in a land with might and magic, human stupidity and gullibility can ruin everything and result in nothing changing. The true irony of this whole situation is that the reason why this show is good actually comes down um, to what uh, the social justice warriors are complaining about. This show puts realistic problems in front of the characters instead of cliche ones such as a dragon killed my family. This al- <laughs> Can you name an anime where that's the plot device, by the way? Because I can't. A um, dragon? Dogma. One I'm about to write. Dragon's yeah. Dogma. Okay, fair enough. The I haven't Hobbit. seen it. <laughs> but the smog just stole the. Anyway, smog just <laughs> sits on a bunch of. Gold. Yeah, this um allows for much more effective character development to the point um where there is more character growth in the first episode than there is in the entirety of most of last season's trash. Most importantly, the show is a show that actually has something to say. It isn't trying to capitalize on a fad. And despite this, it's still the best show of the genre in possibly over a decade. Boys, what do we got? This is good if, okay, if it's the it's, show that I no think it is. Not. I think well, me and Peter are of the same mind. There's no here, way it's thing. not this show. Yeah. I, for, a, for a second, I did think it was jobless until you brought up the lolly thing. But also, the like, it's funny because they said, like, the dragon killed my family. Because if I do think it is Shield Hero, which is, I'm guessing... A dragon like wipes out an entire village by decaying, so that'd it be hilarious. Happen. I'm gonna go with nine to ten, and I'm gonna go with the rising of the shield hero. Okay, Jay, what do we got? I'm gonna go with nine to ten, and I'm gonna slam dunk redo of a healer into the net. <laughs> All right. Okay, All right. Uh, Johnny, All right. uh, I got my pedophile glasses on for this one because there, there is. Absolutely no way this is like you were wearing those before. Well, there's the no way this is not Jabba's <laughs> reincarnation. <Sorry>. Okay, <laughs> I love that. Okay, so we have redo of a healer. Like, there, there's just no way shield hero not. and jobless. Okay, like, okay, I oh, can't, wow. okay, here's something I, I genuinely cannot believe that anyone on this planet would not ironically compare shield hero to Miyazaki. Oh, I, I, I just refuse to believe that. So I, I want to say nine out of ten jobless reincarnation. There's just no way. I forgot like, Rudy's teacher is a lolly. Damn it! I, I, like I wish, like I know Miles is, would be the kind of person to like trick us into thinking that he's going to choose Shield Hero, but I just don't think he's going to do it. Like, there's no way it's not jobless. Okay, right. uh, I'm, I'm leaving the room if it isn't. Yeah, uh, I'll bring up our fourth uh, show then, um, because I immediately thought of Goblin Slayer. Uh, when I when I heard them start talking about like SJWs and people getting upset about the uh, getting upset about the show, um, once you started talking about character depth, it made me a little bit more doubtful. But let's have some fun with it. So let's go with uh, Goblin Slayer and uh, nine out of ten, or nine or ten out of ten. Okay, so everybody, give yourself the point for the nine out of ten. This was a ten out of ten review. Um. Jay, you fell for the bait I was intending for. I was You're a piece of this, shit. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, to, Miles. <laughs> to be redo of a healer bait. Pete, our champion. This is Shield Hero. Let's go! This <laughs> could not be a stereotype There's, for one wait. fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> I have more of it. You're telling me someone non ironically compared Shield Hero to Miyazaki. Yeah. They did. It's Mal. <laughs> <laughs> they did. That's like the whole uh, point of the whole show. Point of what the episode is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah to, to me, the big hint um, 
was <laughs> the lolly <laughs> companions. Um, that, but yeah, that was it's almost too good of a hint, in well, my opinion. That's, <laughs> I, I could yeah. see somebody saying in jobless, um, the redheaded girl could be like. A, I mean, even though she is literally a child, I could see people calling her a lolly too. But then yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I've never seen an episode. Her, her, of her te- his yeah. teacher's a lolly. Yes. Hey, that was that was a good ending. Uh, let's get to the scores coming in in dead last with eight points. We have Johnny. What I thought I lost. No, no way. Coming in fourth place with ten points. We have Pat. There we go. Coming in in third place with 11, we have Miles. Coming in with 13, we have Jay. And our champion of the day in first place with 18 points is me. Woo! So Pete is most similar to Mal reviewers. Yeah, this is a crowd. There's there's not not a surprise here. I was about to say, nobody was surprised that day. I'm proud to be last because that means I have the least in common with Mal reviewers. This is an accomplishment. <laughs> I think I won the last one, so Pete, please take the crown. Yes, I I will take it. And just <laughs> for reference, for me. this is not an L. For reference, Pete I have one review on Mal. It is for the slice of life show Slow Loop. So. I thought about doing that, by the way. Oh, like using using so my funny. review, that'd be hilarious. Review. Yeah. That would be that would be fantastic. Well, gentlemen, thanks for playing. That concludes the second edition of. The My Anime List game. This was super fun. I, yeah, this is great. I, I think I actually I, might I, like this I, more than Anime Jeopardy, to be honest. My, my, let's just say that last person is it like, they're not a human being. I refuse to believe that. They um, are. I, they're a degenerate. They were like, I like this show because it offended people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, so I plugged it before, but if you have made it this far and you want to support the podcast, like, comment, subscribe, leave a review on whatever platform you're listening to us on. It's the best way to support us. Next week, if you're a fan of Watch Club, we are watching Megalobox. Otherwise, if you're watching us for our other content, in two weeks, we will be doing our summer preview. It's already here. Uh, so wow. look forward to that. We also have um, the Fruits Basket movie coming up in the in the future. And I will be doing a live stream in like a month when me and Pat go to Anime Expo in LA. So we're going to have some like other content out there for you. So look forward to that. Thank you again for joining us, and we will see you next time. Peace.